Hey guys, if you're like us, you have a desire to win the lost, but knowing how to walk an individual through receiving Jesus as their Lord and Savior and how to teach them about the difference between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of God can sometimes seem kind of complex. Well, we've simplified it and we've produced this video to help you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to lead an individual using this visual aid, uh, which is a bookmark. And so follow us slide by slide and we'll share with you how we share with others about the goodness of God. Hi, you guys, this is Herb. Hey, the first thing you're gonna want to do is to request your bookmark. When you get your bookmark, you're going to get a packet like this that's set right here before you. It's going to include uh, a partnership uh, invitation. It's going to have your bookmark there as well. It's going to have a letter talking about how short time actually is. And then you're going to have also how to use your bookmark. It's going to talk about uh, all the scriptures that we're going to use or that you can use when you're sharing the gospel and it's even going to have in it as you can see there uh, under the first one Romans 3:23 it says for all have sinned lived in the left side so it's going to have those little inserts to help you guide people through it um, it's very powerful that book that uh, those scriptures are that we have there for that bookmark and then the last thing is we've got a couple business cards that have uh, the Revelation 12 side on the back side. We're going to talk about that here in a few minutes because that's also on the bookmark. So the first thing you want to do is is uh, get in touch with us, leave us a message. Uh, we're going to need to get your address so we can pop this in the mail to you and get it to you. First thing you do when you get your bookmark is take it out and take a good look at it. Uh, you're going to want to memorize uh, the behaviors that are found in each kingdom and uh, I'm going to take just a minute here to go over it with you so you can have a good idea of, of just briefly how this bookmark is laid out. The right hand side you'll see the kingdom of God. It's the kingdom of light and order. Of course the king of that kingdom is Jesus Christ. In scriptures when you look at scriptures you're gonna see that kingdom of God reflected in Genesis 1 and 2 and then again in Revelation 20 through 22. That's when the kingdom of God is actually on the earth ruling and uh, if you go to the left side you're gonna see the world system and that's the kingdom of darkness and chaos now that uh, system was introduced in scripture in Genesis 3 when Adam chose to know what evil was about see he only knew what the uh, kingdom of God was like in Genesis 1 and 2 and you'd look at those attributes in the kingdom of God that's the only thing he knew he didn't know anything about those things you find in the world system on the left hand side but uh, when he chose to know what the left side was all about uh, he introduced all those behaviors to us and uh, we struggled with them ever since and we will struggle with them until one of two things happen we trust Jesus Christ as our Savior and we get the victory or Jesus uh, comes and returns to restore his kingdom on this earth which is Revelation 20 through 22 if you look on each one of these sides, you'll see, I'm going to use uh, death and life, for example. Death is the right-hand side of the world system, and, and on the kingdom of God, life is right there in the left hand. But uh, you can see those two uh, issues face us, and we have a decision whether we can uh, live in a system that includes death or choose to live in a kingdom who only knows life. In the kingdom of God, there is no death only life, life victorious. And so that's an example of uh, right now we know death and uh, you know when we get in the kingdom of God the only thing we're gonna know when that kingdom rules is life. So that's decisions that we have to make. Which kingdom do we want to relate to? Which kingdom do we want to live in and out of? Uh, you'll see the questions there right at the bottom of those two kingdoms. Which kingdom do you choose to live in? You're physically born in the kingdom of darkness and you'll spend eternity in the kingdom you choose to live in. And then to enter the kingdom of God, you must enter through Jesus Christ. We're going to show those scriptures and declare those scriptures here in a few minutes. I'm just going to cover a few of them. You can have them all in your packet when you get them. Now, the most important thing when you sit down with somebody to share this with them is your attitude. It's so easy for us to be, as, as people who are of the kingdom of God, to be judgmental to those who aren't. 
And that's one thing we need to keep in check. For example, we too have lived in the kingdom or in the, in the world system. We have lived out of it. And, and a lot of Christians today struggle with still living out of the world system. We're going to talk about that. Um, it's so important that in our minds and in our hearts, we make that switch over to the right-hand side, the kingdom of God. But many haven't made that switch. They've chose to trust Jesus as their Savior, but they have failed to follow through by moving from one kingdom into the other kingdom in their heart and head. So my point is, is when we are sitting down with our people um, that we're going to share this with, our, our goal isn't to judge them. It's to show them something better. Uh, it's like uh, two thirsty people really thirsting for some fresh water and we've experienced where that fresh water is and now we're going to show them where that fresh water is as well. And uh, remember John 3.16, we all have it and you can go ahead and say it with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And very few of us know John 3.17, the very verse that follows. It says, For God did not send his Son into the world to judge the world or condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. So the idea that Jesus Christ came wasn't to condemn them for where they live, but to show them a better way, which is the kingdom of God. And that's our goal. Uh, whenever we hear someone talking about how tough life is, we want to sit down and say, Have you heard? There's an option. There's a better way. And uh, God has made it per per perfectly clear that those who renew their heart and mind will reflect the kingdom of God, and not only in their life, but in their attitude toward others. So uh, that's how the attitude we want to have when we sit down with this to demonstrate the kingdom of God. It's, it's all about showing people a better way, giving them hope. And when you compare the two uh, kingdoms and you look at this oh you look it over and over and you finally recognize one kingdom is obviously abundantly clear uh, a better kingdom then uh, the choice is pretty easy to make so I'll sit down with your bookmark and your friend and you're gonna want to open up the scriptures you'll have in the packet and then you can just read down through the packet I'm gonna show you here in this next slide uh, what that will look like. Okay, the first verse we're going to look at is Romans 3.23. For all have sinned, lived on the left side of this bookmark, and have fallen short of the glory of God, which is living in and knowing and experiencing only the right side, the kingdom of God. Okay, now a little instruction in this um, about this verse. Sin means to miss the mark. The mark is knowing only the kingdom of God. So when you look on the right hand side of the bookmark, that is the mark we are to live in, only knowing those things. And so when we say all have sinned, it means that we have all experienced what's on the left hand side of this bookmark. It's not a judgmental issue. It's not a trying to condemn somebody for what they've experienced. It's showing them and encouraging them that we have all missed the goodness that God has intended for us from the beginning. And the only way back to that is through Jesus Christ. John 3, 3 says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, go from the king of the world system to the kingdom of God, or from the left side to the right side, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot know, comprehend, ex or experience those things in the kingdom of God. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So when we look at this banner and this bookmark, the wages of sin is death. That's living out of the world system, which is on the left-hand side. And then Romans 6.23 says, But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. As you see, going from the right hand, from the left hand to the right hand to enter into the kingdom of God, they must go the only way into that kingdom is through Jesus Christ. You must go from the left side into the right side, and that comes by faith and trust in Jesus Christ. 
For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world, those people who live on the left side, that he even gave up his only unique begotten son so that whoever believes in, trusts in, clings to, or relies on him shall not perish. They, sh they will not be lost. They won't come to destruction, but have eternal everlasting life. They will enjoy the benefits of living out of the right side, the kingdom of God. Now, I want to make a note here, and I put this on uh, also on your notes in the, in the how to use the bookmark notes that you will receive. It says, the destruction of the wicked, those who live out of the left side, comes when God decides to eliminate the left side. So if the only thing left on earth or in the world is the right side. This is the fulfillment of Daniel's prophecy in Daniel 2, and also you will see in Revelation 20 through 22. There's going to come a time when the king of the kingdom of God will say enough and that the left side has wreaked enough havoc and it's time to be eliminated and he will do away with all of those who want to participate in the world system who have not decided that they want anything to do with the kingdom of God he will remove them and that's where the destruction will come in and they will be removed from ever seeing the kingdom of God and uh, that'll be a sad day when that happens. We don't want that to happen to anybody. That's why we are encouraging them move, to move from the kingdom of the darkness of the world system over into the kingdom of God, the kingdom of light and order. We have plenty of verses inside the packet that are similar to the one you're going to see here. The desire of the righteous is only good, the right side. But the expectation of the wicked, those who stay in the left side, is wrath. Proverbs 11.23. Um, those clearly give you an indication on what system you're living out of and what can be expected by living out of those systems. If you're going to live out of the left side, you can expect wrath. And, uh, you know, this is a warning to us as Christians who, who think that we can live on the left side and be okay that we've got our ticket to the right side. He's clearly making a... Uh, clear delineation between what is right and what is wrong and he will have a judgment against those who decide to live out of the left hand side and uh, this is so we know that the people of the kingdom of God they have a desire to live out of right side and do only that which is good that is the heart of those who are truly born again the ones who just have tickets and are just uh, thinking they can play the game will probably have attitudes that reflect the left-hand side and they'll probably enter in the very same judgment that those who desire not to live out of the kingdom of God and reflect its goodness. So, uh, to, you know, these scriptures are things we must pay attention to and really take to, to heart. Where are we living out of? What are we reflecting? Uh, whose side are we on? Whose attitudes are we reflecting? Uh, something we really, really, really want to take serious and take to heart. After you've shared the scriptures that we have for you to share, you'll come to the point where you'll just say, would you like to make Jesus Lord of your life? Do you accept that he died for your sins? The fact that you have missed all the goodness that he's wanted you to have and that you've participated in those things on the left side of the banner. Would you like to enter his kingdom? and enjoy all the goodness that God has desired for you to enjoy since the beginning of time. Would you like to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior? His, the fact that he died on the cross, was buried, and rose again for you to have eternal life. Would you like to trust that? Uh, there's a prayer also that you can, you can uh, share with them that's listed on that how to use your bookmark brochure that we give you or sheet of paper we give you. So um, it's all packaged right there for you to be able to easily share. Uh, we want it that way because time is short and we want you to share with as many people as possible and we want it to be as easy as possible for you to do so. And we've also have given some, included some verses that you'll want to share with them after they've trusted Jesus Christ as their Savior and decided to enter into the kingdom of God through Jesus Christ. And these scriptures are also good for you to put a bookmark down in front of people who have already trusted Jesus Christ as Savior and say, hey, let's take a look at these real quick because uh, time is short and we want to make sure you are uh, in right standing and just, that you are living out of the kingdom of God.
Now, as you look at these verses and you look at the bookmark, it's going to become abundantly clear which system you're messing around with or which one you're living out of. So uh, let's just look at the first one, Ephesians 5, 8, and 9. It says, For you were formerly darkness. You were living on the left side, but now you are light in the Lord, living on the right side. Walk as children of light. We are to walk out of the right side. Now, I don't know about you, but it is easy for me to easily start walking out of the left-hand side. Uh, it's pretty easy for me to be tempted when, when I don't feel good to claim I have sickness. Well, that's left-hand That's left -hand sided thinking, left-hand sided living, left -hand, that is denying what Jesus Christ did on the cross for us, which was eternal and restore us to health which is available once you enter into the kingdom of God. So it's easy to go over there to the left-hand side. And we are not children of darkness. We are not children who are, uh, who are still under the curse of sickness. We have been removed from the curse. We have entered into the kingdom of God. Health is now our benefit. So um, again, formerly we were of darkness, but now we are children of light. Now, you know, if you know me for very long, you know that I have a tendency to be really motivated to be involved in politics. Well, this scripture right here is an absolutely wonderful scripture for me. First Peter 2 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, here we go, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession. We live out of the right side. That's who we are. We're a chosen race. We are a royal priesthood who represents the right side. We're a holy nation that knows only those things on the right side when we renew our mind and our heart. We are a people for God's own possession. We live out of the right side. Why? So that we may proclaim the excellencies of him, the benefits of the right side, who has called us out of darkness from the left side into his marvelous light, which is in the right side. We ought to keep our hearts and minds in check and who we are and what we're really to be doing. We are to proclaim the excellencies of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Take a look at this one. And he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin. We might die to living on the left-hand side and live to righteousness, live from the right side. For by his wounds you were healed. For you were continuously straying like sheep. We are wandering around on the left-hand side. But now... You have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. You're now living out of the right-hand side. 1 Peter 2.24 And one last example for those of you who are in End Time Events Watchmen group. We want to share this particular verse with you because you brethren are not in darkness you do not live out of the left side you live on the right side that the day of God's coming judgment on those living on the left side would overtake you like a thief we're watchmen we're watching we're waiting we are listening to what our King and Lord says to us we are obedient we live out of the right side and we share with those who are still stranded and stuck on the left side, encouraging them to come on over to the right side into the kingdom of God, where there's life and abundance. In Jesus' name, that's out of 1 Thessalonians 5, 4 through 11. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, Whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence, and if anything worthy of praise dwell on these things, we are to keep our mind completely on the right side, the kingdom of God. 
the things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, those things on the right side, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. Philippians 4. And then we have an invitation for those who we share these scriptures with. Would you like to rededicate your life to Christ's kingdom and to live out of the kingdom of light? Um, many people will have, by, by now, after seeing these scriptures and seeing uh, the comparison of the two kingdoms, will recognize that we need to be moving over and that they need to move over. And many will say, yes, I would like to rededicate my life to Jesus Christ. And it's a very powerful thing to watch the spirit move in people's lives as they decide to rededicate themselves. And on the front side of the bookmark, you also have a Revelation 12 sign, and that can be used, what we call a hook, to get people's interest. And uh, you can show them this that this sign is going to be appearing in the sky on September 23rd, 2017. And what does it mean? Well, we know it's found in the book of Revelation. We know it has something to do with the beginning of the tribulation. And uh, if it's there to be assigned to us to warn us that the tribulation is upon us, I, I guess that's probably what it means. Now, exactly when that starts, we're not sure. We have a, you know, a good possibility of it starting somewhere around September 23rd or shortly thereafter. But... Uh, that's the best we know. And then we want to know, have they have they ever heard about the goodness of God's coming kingdom? And uh, this is a great thing to introduce uh, Christians uh, to the Revelation 12 sign and those who don't know Jesus Christ to the kingdom of God. Thank you for watching. You can contact us and request your packet at hisgoodkingdom.com or email us at hisgoodkingdom at yahoo.com. We look forward to hearing from you. On the front side of the bookmark, you will find the Revelation 12 sign. It can be used as an excellent hook to get people interests and to lead them into the kingdom of God. I have done a video that explains the Revelation 12 sign and how you can use it to open up conversation, ultimately giving you the opportunity to share God's kingdom. You'll want to see that video. Regarding the Revelation 12 sign, it's an end time sign. We have a Facebook group that is called End Time Events Watchmen where we follow all the current events that point us to the coming of our Lord. And we also post many wonderful videos that will help you learn and grow regarding scriptures, Israel, and the prophetic scriptures that help us know where we are and what to expect. We encourage you to join us as we enthusiastically anticipate the coming of our Savior. If you have found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. This is Diane with HisGoodKingdom.com. See you soon.